hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel please if you are new here kindly consider subscribing to the channel but if you are old here thanks so much for coming back today we'll be doing something very simple but catchy and this is coming up. so without much ado let's jump into photoshop and let's get something started so um here in photoshop to create your new document you go to file new to create your new document and i'm going to set this paper size to 8 3 so i'll go for print and then hit on a3 when i'm done i'll hit on create to create my new document so i have already set my text and everything here so i'll come for it and then i'll start with victory victory encounter so i will select everything here control plus c to copy it and then hit on t and that is the shortcut key for the text to our left click to activate the text tool and then control v to duplicate um, what I've copied for my test, so Control A to select everything, and then maybe let's just try to maintain this color for the meantime. So when we are done, then we can now change the color back to the precise color I think or we think is possible. So we have this Control Plus A, and then open up your toggle character, and then make sure that um, this is done in the right way. So you open this out a little bit. So you'll be doing this until you get exactly what you want. So we have this there. Yes. So we have this now. So select the encounter alone. Control plus C to copy that one alone and then delete it. And they will go for what? The victory. So control A to select only the victory and change the font from uh, monster Rat to um, letter magic letter magic yes and then we'll go for letter magic now we are not going to use the upper case of this letter magic hence we are going to um click on all caps and then we we'll change this from caps to what um maybe lower case or whatever you guys call the whole thing and then we have this control plus t to you know transform this a little bit and then hit on enter Control plus A to center it and then control plus D to D select. Now we change the color of this victory to something blue or um, deep blue. So I have the color code already, which is um, um 1E2946. So this is the color for the victory, and then I'll hit on V to go for the move to. I'll go for my rulers and then I'm going to work in accordance with my rulers. So I will set my rulers here and then make sure that everything will be aligned by the end of this tutorial. So this is what I'll be doing for the meantime. And then uh, I'll make sure I'll um, transform my victory to become big a little bit. Yes, yeah, something like this. Yes. And then hit on enter. Control plus A select everything and then center it and then control plus d to deselect now take your time and then move your rulers to the edges of the victory so we have this so victory encounter hit on t which is what the shortcut key for the test tool so left click to activate the test tool again and then control plus v to um, paste the encounter we have copied earlier and then i will change the font from monster rat to a font called akira so i have the akira here and then i will make sure to transform it to fit my um document and then i will have this okay then i will accept the whole thing in photoshop and then i will have it here i want the whole thing to be underneath of the victory so i already take my time when i'm doing this yes so and then i will transform this to here and then i'll hit on enter yes so this is what i have for now so the next thing to do is to change the color of the encounter to a precise color i have worked on so i will left click or right click on the layer and then select the blending options so i'll be adding a gradient overlay to the hot encounter so i will select gradient overlay and then i have already set the gradient color so i'll make sure i will leave all the links in the description for you guys to follow suit and then i'll leave everything like this angle to what one seven nine and then i'll hit on what okay 
the next thing to do is to go for my rectangular tool and then i'll draw a very nice rectangle here and then that is where i'll be you know um putting my team and the test as well so i'll have this here and then i'm not going to change the color so i'll maintain the deep blue color and then i'll select this for it and then when i'm done i'll use my arrow keys to move the whole thing underneath the encounter yes something of this kind is perfect so from here i'll hit on t which is still the shortcut key for the test tool and then i'll go for my notepad and then i'll select my team for um this so i'll go for this team so control plus c to copy it and then um hit on v which is what the shortcut key for the move tool again what to do next is to also go for my rectangular tool again and then i'll draw a very nice um rectangle here a very small one of course something of this kind yes and then i will change the color from deep blue to you know something um like this deep blue to something like this yeah and then okay so i will have this drag the whole thing on top of the first rectangle i have drawn and then i will maintain this one here so from here i'll hit on t and then i'll type the team as well so i have this as my team and then control a to select everything change the color from light black to white and then i'll you know go for the move to and then draft the whole thing on top of the rectangle i've drawn so control t to transform the whole thing just make sure or just take your time when doing all this stuff yeah so i'll drag it on this this is exactly what i wanted the next thing to do is to go for my notepad again and then start to copy from equipping the church as an army so i'll copy up to as an army so control plus c to copy the whole thing and when i come here i'll activate my test tool again and then control plus v to you know paste the whole thing control a to select everything and then drag it on top of the um the other rectangle so i will change the whole thing from lower case to upper case and then i'll have this so i'll go for my move tool again and then control c to transform the whole thing into the first rectangle i have drawn so i'll hit on enter and then i'll drag it here as well so control t again to you know transform it as well so we have this and then we drag the whole thing here so we have this so control t still i think it's it's too big again so we have to take our time when doing all these stuff so we have this there we have this there so equipping the church as and so this is not complete so go for the notepad again and then copy from an army for victory so control c to copy the whole thing and then i will make a duplicate of the first test to so control j and then use my arrow key to drag the whole thing underneath of it so i will select my test tool again control a select everything and then control v to paste it there so equipping the church as an army for victory control t to transform that a little bit and then i'll have this one here like this so control a to center it no this is not work so control d to deselect this thing i don't think this will work here so i'll only use my arrow keys to drag it to where i want it so i'll hit on t to select my test tool again and then i'll left click to activate the whole thing so i'll only hold uh, you know control plus v to uh, you know paste the text i have copied for my notepad so control a and then change the color from white to something uh, like this deep blue and then i'll change the font from letter magic to a font called abro fat face abro fat face and then i will make sure the whole thing has been you know 
align with my ruler yes so i'll just take my time when i'm doing this so i'll go for my move tool again and then make sure the whole thing is underneath of the bigger rectangle yes so control plus c and then i will align it with the other ruler here so i only have to make sure that the whole thing has been aligned so this is exactly what i want okay so the next thing to do is to add the date to this particular document so i'll hit on what t and then i'll go back to my notepad and then copy the dates from here so i will select everything and then Control c to copy it and then left click to you know paste what i have copied and then Control plus you know a select everything and then transform it to suit my rulers and i will accept the whole thing in photoshop the next thing to do is to drag the whole thing underneath of my test so i will have this there and then use my arrow key to move the whole thing on top a little bit Control plus t to you know uh, make sure the whole thing has been you know transformed in accordance to my ruler so i'll have this there then again Control plus t select it again or transform the whole thing to this particular size yes so okay so from here the next thing to do is to go for my rectangular tool again and draw a very nice rectangle here as well and that is where i'm going to place my venue and then my sections as well so i'll have this and then i'll change the color from this stroke and then go for something okay let's try to go for something from the encounter let's select the color from the encounter and then i'll go for okay so i'll have this here use my arrow keys move the whole thing underneath of my date and then i'll have this day i will now go back to my notepad and then copy the sections so i'll copy from here so control c copy everything and then go for my test tool and then i will now come back to my uh, document and then control v to you know have a duplicate or a copied out of that so the next thing to do here is to copy the sunday and then control c and then you can you know copy it and then you can delete it because that is no more necessary right now and then control t to duplicate why am i even saying duplicate again to transform the whole thing here and then i will transform this here as well hit on enter drag the whole thing here change the color from you know deep blue to something white yeah so i'll have this here still use my arrow keys to you know move the whole thing on top a little bit Control plus j to make a duplicate or you can hold alt left click and drag to make a duplicate so i'll still use my arrow key to drag the whole thing underneath of it and then i'll go for my test tool again select everything and then Control plus v to paste it Control plus a select everything and then change the color from blue to white again so boom i will have this here the next thing to do is to go for the venue so i'll still go for my um you know my notepad again and then select the venue so i want to do you know some kind of corrections here so i'll select the venue like this Control c i'll delete it and then i'll come for my venue i just want the whole thing to be very easy so Control v and then i'll now select everything here Control c copy it and then hit on t and then i have Control v here move the whole thing here then Control a select everything and then change the color to deep blue again hit on v and then accept the whole thing in photoshop and then i have to align it with my ruler so i'll have this here like this and then i'll go for this part also and then drag it to somewhere here yes so use my arrow keys again drag it on top sorry underneath my section so i have this here as well yes so the next thing to do is i'll go for my speakers here so i'll select everything and then Control c 
uh okay come for my test tool again left click to activate it and then control v i have this here control e select everything again and then i'll go for a font called paw pins so p o p p i n s paw pins so i'll go for bold okay let's try bold and see i don't know the one i've used on the thumbnail but let's go for bold and then i'll make sure the whole thing is closed to each other yeah so i'll have this i will accept the whole thing in photoshop and then ctrl t to transform the whole thing i accept the whole thing in photoshop by hitting on enter drag it underneath of this one the next thing to do is to you know come for the venue layer and then go for the starting layer which is the victory hit on what um shift and then right click or left click all will work at the same time time so i have this the whole all the layers have been selected here and then ctrl plus g to group the whole thing like this okay since the whole thing has been grouped i can now you know manipulate it to any how i want it so i'll use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top where i can have space for my speaker so i'll come for my speaker and then i'll move them here ctrl plus a select everything and then center it and then ctrl plus d to you know d select yes so this is exactly what i want so i can now you know add the speakers to the group one so that everything will just be in the same group so i can you know activate it and then you know deactivate it as well ctrl plus t to make a transformation to this yes and then i'll hit on enter boom this is what i have so i have to you know also make sure that the whole thing has been centered right so ctrl plus a and then i will center a and then ctrl plus d to d select the next thing to do is to go for my resources again and then add my images and i have worked on my images already so i'll drag and drop this in photoshop and then i will transform it to the precise um size i want it so um i'll have this here oh sorry i think i'm using the wrong image here so i'll go for my resources again and then i'll go for this one i think there are only two pictures i have used for this uh, particular document so i'll drag and drop the whole thing in photoshop and then i will make sure i will transform it to the right or the precise size i want it i love that english the precise size i want the whole thing yes so i'll make sure it is underneath of my group like this yes so victory encounter 2022 20, or whatever ctrl plus a select everything and then center it ctrl plus d to d select ctrl plus d to d select i can go for my group one and then use my arrow key to drag the whole thing down like this and then i'll go for my you know group two and then i will you know send the whole thing on top like this yes so this is exactly what i want that's take a time when doing all this kind of stuff yes so i'll have this here and then i can still move my speakers on top like this and i can select all the group one and then drag the whole thing down a little bit go for my group two and then transform it again something like this is okay and then ctrl plus a select everything and then ctrl plus d to d select i'll still go for my test tool and go for my notepad i think i have left something two weeks equipping for victory encounter so two weeks two weeks equipping for so ctrl plus c copy and then left click to activate the layout there um the test tool and then ctrl plus v to make or to paste the whole thing ctrl plus a change the font from poppins to um abro face or whatever and then i will accept the whole thing in photoshop something like this ctrl plus t to make a transformation to the size you want it and then i can put the whole thing 
here yes so this is exactly what i want okay so the next thing to do is to add the names of um this past taste so i'll still go for my notepad and then i have their names here so i'll have pastor pastor benson jc and then i'll select everything Control c copy it and then hit for or i'll go for my test tool and then left click Control v to make what a paste so Control a select everything and then change the font from abril to paul pains so i will transform the whole thing to become the precise you know size i want the whole thing so Control c to transform it um to something uh you know small and then i will make sure to place the whole thing to the right side of it so i'll go for regular to i'll change the size from regular to something bold yes to something bold okay and then i'll still go for my notepad and then go for the second name which is elder daniel and then he's the host or he's hosting this particular program so i'll still go for my test to left click and then control v and still make what so paste the whole thing control t to what transform the whole thing to the precise uh you know size you want the whole thing and then i'll keep this one here as well yes so finally 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 i think we are almost done with this particular document so i'll go for my resources again and then change uh you know set my background so i'll have the and then i'll go for this background drag and drop the whole thing in photoshop and then you know make sure that the whole thing is at the top of the document and then hit on what enter right click to you know rasterize the layer and then add a layer mask to the whole thing hit on g which is what the gradient to and then i will change the color from this to something of this kind and then i will start to wipe up the places that i don't like so i don't like all these places the reason why the image is not showing is that the layer is on top of the what group 2 so i'll drag it underneath of the group 2 so my image can be shown i'll now go to filter and then i will blur um this particular image so i'll go for gaging blur and then i'll blur this one to something oh uh, okay 45 let's check 45 and see whether it will work okay so let's still be working with it and see which one will be best for this particular document so let's see 45 whether 45 will work i think this has been blurred too much so let's check something like this and see how far this can bring us okay so we set this to uh you know 18 we set this to 18 and then i think yes we blur the whole thing to what 18 okay so the first image to 18 and then we have this so after this i have to change the blend options from normal to you know overlay so i'll have this the next thing to do is to go for my resources again and then bring in the second image which is what this image so i'll drag and drop the whole thing in photoshop and then try to transform it to become something big which can fit my document and then i'll hit on what um enter drag the whole thing on top of it and then make sure it is underneath of the first image so i'll have this and then the next thing to do is to you know set the opacity to you know 45 okay let's try 45 and see whether it will work so i have 45 or 43 either way should work perfect for you and then i'll right click and then rasterize the layer and then i'll add my layer mask to it hit on g and then wipe up the places that are not necessary for me yes i think this is what i'll show you guys on the thumbnail all right so i'll still go for the name of the church and then where the church you know is where the church you know is going to be held so i'll go for my notepad again and then i'll go for the church of pentacles blah 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 yes Control c to copy the whole thing and then hit on t again left click and then Control v to paste the whole thing Control a select everything and then change the color okay let's maintain 
this color as well uh, i can see some confusion here don't mind me so i'll drag the whole thing on top of this layer where the whole thing can be shown perfectly so ctrl t to transform the whole thing to become something small because the name of the church is not all that necessary in this so i'll hit on enter i'll still go for my text tool again ctrl a select everything and then change the font from poppins to cinzel cinzel yeah and then i have this font here i will accept the whole thing in photoshop and then i'll go for my move to so the final thing to add is to the present so better assemble presents blah 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 yes so control a and then centerize the whole thing and control d to deselect let's try to transform the whole thing to become something small since it's just the name of the church yes so i'll hit on enter okay so the next thing to do is to add um some kind of style to this particular document so i will select my ellipse tool and then draw a very nice circle here like this okay so i will change the color from uh this to you know something like this okay and then i'll go for my move to drag the whole thing here something like this okay so ctrl j to make a duplicate and then change the color from um this to something like this uh, okay e okay i think let's maintain this color for the meantime if the whole thing didn't work for us then we try to change the color again right click on it and go to the blending options change i will have to give the whole thing a stroke color so i will select my stroke and then okay let's maintain 45 for the meantime so i will drag it inside of the first rectangle so i'm just trying to you know play around it and then know that maybe we are all doing the, the the right thing so i just want to give you guys what i've shown you on the thumbnail so i have this okay just take your time when doing this so i'll have this here like this yes i think this is what i've shown you guys on the thumbnail so i will select the whole layer and then i'll group it like this use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top and then i can drag it inside again like this this is what i've shown you guys on the tab now all right so i want to thank you all for having time for me for this particular tutorial and i want to say may god richly bless you all and i am out